All right. So welcome everyone to another meeting of Karachi Cosmoches Club. It is 6.53 at noon on my PC. And finally, we have a few members here and we, we can begin. So since uh, there is, uh, I don't think we have a uh, guest over here. We do have guests, but uh, maybe not new to uh, those masters. Could you uh, please introduce yourself, guest on it? This is Amit here. I'm from India, from yes. Goldman Toastmaster Club. Uh, all right. Welcome to the club. Thank uh, you. And guest Asad. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hello. So I'm Asad and uh, uh, I'm a software, I'm a software engineer. This is my uh, first time uh, joining Karachi Toastmasters Club. Hoping to have a good experience. You are a guest entirely or you are a Toastmasters member? Uh, no, I'm a guest. All right. So welcome to the club and welcome to the Toastmaster community. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, then we have guest Shruti. Hello, ma'am. This is Shruti. I'm from India. I'm in final year PGDM. Um, uh, so I'm I'm a guest and I'm hoping to have a, a good time here. So I, I'd like to actually know how Toastmasters work. So that's the reason I'm here. Welcome to welcome to the club, and uh, we will try to help you learn about this club. Well, for you and uh, Asad, uh, Toastmasters is a very old institution, more than 70 years old institution. And it was started by a man named uh, Ralph Smedley. And he saw a big, a big gap between people who wanted to speak and could not speak. So he started this institution. And now it has more than 16,000 clubs worldwide and more than 1 lakh members worldwide. So uh, Karachi Toastmasters Club is one of those institutions. And I'm sure in India, there are many, many more clubs. And in Pakistan, there are many clubs, more than 30 clubs in Pakistan. So uh, with that introduction, I think we can head off to the business section. Uh, uh, Deepin Tala, can you hear me? Uh, the business section you can start. Uh, we are on mute. Yes, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Yeah, okay. So, thank you, Madam President. And uh, our last uh, meeting, previous week's meeting, was uh, our 900th meeting, in fact. And it was uh, celebrated as a hybrid meeting. It was both online and in person at Beach Luxury Hotel Karachi. Uh, it had quite a few guests from uh, Karachi as well as abroad. The best prepared speaker in last meeting uh, was one by Toastmaster Javed Bhatti, best tabletop speaker by Toastmaster Bakar Raza, best prepared speech evaluator by Toastmaster Ghulam Kadir, critics for his best speaker, Toastmaster Aliyah Sharanjo, and critics choice best role player by Toastmaster Azhar Khan. More importantly, uh, we also handed out uh, at long last uh, trophies that were due to our contest winners. And, and I'm so glad to report that uh, most of the contestants did turn up to collect their trophies. So uh, with this, the, the rest of the trophies are, of course, uh, safe with us. and. Uh, and uh, we will hand them out as soon as uh, we have another hybrid meeting where the relevant recipients are pres present. So over to you, Madam President. Thank you so much, JTM uh, Kala, for the section, uh, session. And uh, with that, let's move on to the rest of the meeting. Now I'd like to introduce uh, the postmaster of the evening for today. He is none other than our immediate past president. He led the entire year last year, and today he has something interesting to say to you. Marching towards the new century. Over to you, Mr. Indra. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. I'm sure I'm audible. 
Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you very much. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, after a very long time, I am doing the role of Toastmaster of the day. Last week, we completed our 900th meeting, and today we are going to take the first step towards towards our 1000th meeting. So let's hope we'll cover that journey too. And with that, I would like to introduce the meeting segments. Toastmasters meeting consists of three segments. That is the prepared speech segment, the table topic speech segment, and finally the general evaluation segment. In prepared speech segment, what we do, all the members delivered their projects from different pathways. Currently, we have 11 pathways. So the members delivered their projects from, from the selected pathways. And mostly the speeches are from five to seven minutes. Some special projects have uh, for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes and more than that. After that, then, then there will be a very important, very uh, brainstorming segment that is called the table topics segment in which the members and the guests are participated. Yeah, they, they will be provided, just a minute. So the members and guests are called for, for topics and they have to speak for about one minute to two minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, it, it will be an extempore speech uh, and the topics will be given on random basis. So the, so the first experience, first we call the members, then guests are welcome to uh, join and talk about the topic. And after that, the last segment that is called the evaluation segment, which is very important segment. In this segment, what we, uh, we, we need to improve in our meeting and what we have done better. And uh, the general evaluator highlights the areas of improvement where we can work, up, work upon and improve ourselves. And with that, I have a team of facilitator that will help me out to conduct, that will facilitate me throughout the meeting. And our first facilitator is our president. She is doing the grammarian role and I request her to please explain her role. Toastmaster Rusa, the stage is yours. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Imran. Uh, my role as the grammarian will be to note down interesting uh, usages of grammar and the mistakes that speakers might make when without naming the speaker i would i would read out the list and uh, read out the corrections as well thank you very much toastmaster urusa so moving on to our next facilitator the, our next facilitator is wordmaster he is all the way from madagascar so let us welcome Toastmaster Kareem Megani to explain his role. Toastmaster Kareem, the stage is yours. Hello. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which any here? Kareem, we can't hear you. To the new Okay, Kareem, uh, what we can do, we'll give you, uh, let me introduce another role holder, then we'll come back to you. So our next facilitator is the timer. And today we have a very smart and intelligent timer, Toastmaster Latif. Toastmaster Latif, please explain your role. Good evening, fellow friends, Toastmasters, guests, and a 901 meeting. Today as a timer, my role will be to time each and every speaker who will be delivering their project prepared speech or the table topic or the evaluator. I will be changing my screen 
as per their times allotted, which is for prepared speech, which will be a five minutes, the allotted time. I will turn my screen into green and then at five, uh, six minute, it will be yellow. And then on the red will be shown at the seventh minute. You can speak for seven minutes, 30 seconds or four minutes, 30, uh, four minutes, 30 seconds. But we won't be giving you further indications of uh, disqualification, but uh, a speaker speaking more than seven minutes, 30 seconds will be disqualified for voting. Thank you and over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Okay, Toastmaster Latif, I would request you to explain the table topics timing signals too. Sure. Table topic timings uh, as well will be from one to two minutes. So at one minute, I will turn out my screen as green. This will start as, as the first verbal communication by the speaker. Then one minute, 30 seconds will be on yellow and then red, two minutes. Table topic, uh, minimum one minute has to be spoken to qualify for voting. And for evaluation, it will be from two to three minutes. Same uh, two minutes will be the green light. Yellow, two minutes, 30 seconds, and red will be 30. Uh, red will be at three minutes. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Latif, for explaining your role. Now we are moving towards another exciting role, that is the listener. And today we have our listener, Toastmaster Azaz Maiman. Good to have you back, Toastmaster Azaz. Could you please explain your role, please? Thank you very much, Toastmaster Latif. Hello, Toastmasters and guests, a very good evening. A good speaker is the one who carefully listen to others. I'm sure that you are all good speakers and I would like to check how good listeners you are as well. As a listener, my duty is to note down some good words and interesting phrases. At the end of the meeting, I'll ask everyone to guess the words and the phrase and the one who said it is requested to remain silent. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Azaz. You uh, it was it was a wonderful explanation about your role. Now we have Kareem Meghani. Let's Thank go you. back to Madagascar and let's see. Toastmaster Kareem Meghani has a word of the day, and I request him to please introduce the word of the day and introduce your role as well. Okay, uh, can you hear? We can hear you loud. You are loud and clear. Is it okay? Could you please repeat it again? Okay, so, so today I'm a master and uh, we'll expect that some like that all of the speakers will use this word. The word is phenomena. The word is phenomena. I will write it in the chat box also. Uh, phenomena is a fact or situation that is observed to exist or happen, especially one whose cause or explanation is in question. I will put the meanings of, so maybe some of the pe uh, some people can read it, and I will expect they will use it. Uh, I will mark it, and then in the end, probably not me, but somebody else will give the report. Thank you. Okay. Well, could you give us some examples of phenomena? How to use the word in your sentences? So one of the examples is that um, glaciers are interesting natural phenomena. OK. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Kareem. So I request everyone, I, and I encourage, encourage everyone to please use the word of the day that is phenomena. Okay, now let's move on to our next role holder. It was supposed to be done by Toastmaster Azhar Khan, but he has not joined yet. So I can request Toastmaster Hiba Reis Khan. Toastmaster Hiba, could you please explain the R counters role, please? Uh, okay, uh, thank you, TMR. Am I visible? Yes, you are perfectly audible and visible. Okay, as the R counter, I will be making note of all the filler words, the R, the mm, the repeated word, 
words and so so and and as well uh, by uh, like spoken by the speaker in the prepared speeches and the table topic sessions and at the end when the reporters have to give the report i would be pointing out how uh, many speakers spoke how many sorry i will be pointing out the speakers who spoke the number of filler of work filler words Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hebar Ishan. Uh, and I request you to please note down your counters too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now moving on to our another very important role that is vote counter. And today we have our VP Education DTM Talha doing as a vote counter. Toastmaster Talha, please explain your role. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vidhi. During the meeting, you'll be asked to vote four different times. Uh, the first vote will be for best speaker. The second vote will be for best table topic speaker. The third vote will be for best evaluator. And the fourth will be uh, for best big four. All this time, you'll be, uh, you'll be seeing an electronic poll floated through Zoom polls. And uh, subject to the qualification of the respective participant, uh, all, all the uh, participants will be eligible. In case somehow the Zoom poll does not work, then a Google form will be used. Uh, as the vote counter, I cannot vote myself, so I will only use my vote in case of a tie. Over to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Talha. Now let's. It's time to rejoice ourselves and. We have joke joke master today, and our joke master is Toastmaster Farhan Heather. So I request Farhan Heather, please tell us your joke. Over am, to you. Am I, am I audible? Could you please speak loudly? Am I audible? Yes, you are. You are audible. Yes, you are. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmasters and respected guests. I'm very glad to see everybody after a long, long time. Uh, my name is Farhan, and today I have opted a role of uh, joke master. And before cracking the joke, I would like to say that this is only a joke. So don't take it personally. And I'm sure that it can't have happened with anyone, including me. So in the first year of marriage, husband speaks and the wife listen. In the second year of marriage, wife speak and the man listen. And the third year of marriage, they both speak and the neighbor listens. <laughs> I've already said this, this is only a joke. Thank you very much to us, Master Farhan Heather for enlightening us with, with true reality. <laughs> Nobody okay. has a dare to say. <laughs> With that, let's begin our first segment that is prepared speech segment. And we have our first speaker all the way from Madagascar. So Toastmaster Karim Meghani is going to deliver his project. And I request the president of Kolachi Toastmasters, Toastmaster Najam Rizvi, very senior and very seasoned Toastmaster. Please introduce the speaker and also I request you to please introduce the project details as well. So over to you Toastmaster Najam. Uh, thank you Toastmaster Imran Rana. Toastmaster Kareem Magani is doing his visionary communication path and he's at level four now. He's mashallah. Toastmaster Magani lives in Madagascar and where he works. He is working for the Aachan Council, a part of the Aachan Development Network, and he has been in Madagascar since 19, 2013. So we heard him a number of, number of times, and he is a very good speaker. He is also a singer, so maybe he can. At the end of the meeting, you can uh, we can listen to a song from him. Over to you, Toastmaster Magani. Is I am audible? Why 
the poverty numbers are not decreasing, what is the problem? For so many years, we are working with this community and these all beneficiaries. Why things are not changing? Why there are still the same 27% poverty on our, of our beneficiaries? These were the questions which we put for our meeting, our brainstorming session for our leadership. Toastmasters Day, dear Toastmasters and guests, we as an as instit institution, as an association, we worked for improving the quality of life of people. And one of the tasks or one of the objective of this institution is to improve the poverty situation within the community. When we started five years ago for this particular project of poverty elimination, we found out that our 27% of our community members live in extreme poverty and we have to work with them. But when we work with them, our style of work is always that when they come to our offices and they, we take their cases, and if they are according to the criteria, we give them the food package, we give them the housing rent, and we try to give them insurance and maybe their students, the education loans. So we thought that we are doing a very good job. But every time when we come into summary all our details, when we, when we summarize all our, our achievements, all our results, it's still the poverty number is the same. What is the problem? And when I discuss this with my team and my leaders, they all don't know what is the answer. I said, let's look at this in a different level. Let's change our approach. Let's find a way how we can make such an improvement. Why we are not able to achieve these targets. Why we are at least from 27%, maybe we can reduce on average basis to 24, 25, at least 1% decrease. Why we are not able to make any, any of the changes. Let's think differently. Our team start thinking. So maybe the people don't want to change. We are giving them things. So they are now used to get this help from us and they are not doing anything. Okay, that's one point. So people are not working. Okay, we are helping. So they are dependent on us. Okay, what is the second problem? People don't want to work. Some people have potential to work, but they don't want to work. They are too lazy. I said, is this a judgment? Are we saying these all these beneficiaries doesn't have any potential? I said, sir, uh, we never went inside their home, but we are saying this on our observation of last five years work. No, they are too lazy. One of the team member came up but you just mentioned you didn't visit them. Why you didn't visit them? Sir, we are too busy with all these beneficiaries coming to our offices. How we will get time to visit them? I said, if you don't visit them, then how you know the real situation? So the second question, first thing, they don't know. They don't know how to work. They don't have jobs. The second thing that we are not visiting them. What is the third thing? What is the issue? So some people want to work. They told us to work, but they can't start. Why they cannot start? What is the issue? Is it finance? Is it human resource? Is it skills? Yeah, they, some of them have skills, but they want us to hold their hands. They want to be with them all the time. Okay. So they want mentoring. Yes, sir. 
maybe they want mentoring. Okay, this is the third problem. So we identified in particularly this brainstorming that there are three problems. Some people, they don't have jobs. Some people are too lazy because we don't know that what is happening in their houses. We don't know the actual situation. And some people are really want us to come and work with them and hold their hands. As said to this team, we all know the issues, five years of work and investment, no results. Let's try to do something. Let's change our approach. Now I am assigning one person of this team as a family mentor program. You strategize one program that start mentoring these families. Another person in this team, let's start look and identify what kind of jobs are available for these people. And if they don't have skills, then let's find an institution to build that skills. What kind of skills? If they are not educated, let's get them some skills. Maybe they can be a plumber, they can be a carpenter. If they have potential, they are young, they are poor, let's give them skills. If they don't have resources, Let's find some donors and help them. Okay, the third, visiting. I will start myself. The whole team, give me two volunteers. Let me identify all the families. Let us start visiting these families. Let's give them hope. Let's go to their houses and help them. Let's see what is the difference. One year, ladies and gentlemen, this team had this change, but this change created lots and lots of comforts to us because we start to seeing results. And what I understood by this whole change management exercise, that if you want to make difference in people's life, understand them better and understand the problem better. Change is always good. Let's find a better change. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Kareem Meghani. Well said, change is always good and change is always welcome. So that's why we are changing towards the new speaker. And she is Toastmaster Faya. And she's going to deliver her motivational strategies level five. And I request her evaluator, DTM Talha Ben Hamid, to please explain uh, the projects and also introduce the speaker. Over to you, DTM Talha. Okay. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Faya Akhtar is an educationist by profession. And she is not only a very talented speaker, but also a very socially conscious and expressive orator. Uh, today, she will be delivering her first project from level five of motivation strategies. It's the second speech from the project. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice developing a plan, building a team and fulfilling the plan with the help of his or her team. The purpose of the second speech is for the member to share some aspect of his or her experience managing the project. So the first project was all about planning and the second, pro uh, second part, second speech is all about execution. So uh, the project is aptly titled, Finally, I Did It. Please put your hands together for Toastmaster Faya Akhtar. Thank you so much, Toastmaster DTM Talha. Good evening, fellow Toastmaster and guest. Life means to do many things in your present. Life means to get many things in your present. Life means to live in present actually. There are the many stages in the life which we get. So same thing which I have got recently. There was very interesting project in my Toastmaster journey. Because of the Toastmaster, I left my place, my home, my institute. 
but again because of the toastmaster i got a way to be back there and it was there to take out my energy back which i had before toastmaster i was quite energetic and i was just feeling myself that i'm getting down so i enjoyed the three activities and i tried my level best to make others enjoy it as well so i played the three activities being host the first activity was a spring game in that one game what they have to do i gave them one ribbon in the ribbon they will have to fold it continuously and while the folding they will have to speak on that on the second activity it was a story starter in the story starter basically i gave some chats to them like this in these old chats i wrote many things regarding themselves which they have to read it out and they they have then they will have to follow these all instructions the third activity was two truth and one lie they will have to tell about the two truths of them their lives and one lie i just created it more interesting by which the one thing i said that you will speak the two truths and one lie and we are going to judge that what is basically a truth and what are basically lies so these kind of the activities which we played in the first activity is trading game the ribbon one activity we enjoyed a lot because people were there they were able to speak on that while they are basically uh speaking so i would request to i guess so that dtm talha is showing the pictures these all pictures are evidence of my project and this is the place where i used to teach this is the place where i have learned this is the place where i have played these all activities the very interesting and most important thing which i enjoyed in this one activity is that now the mentality of the students the criteria the behavior and tempered power are different now when we were playing story startup so when a student were there he was confused that how to play that and what to tell and i was just feeling myself that after one and half year i am back so is it i am able to motivate the other people or not but i did it finally i did it i just speak whatever you want as we do in our table topic sessions that some of the people when they stuck in the table topic session we just allowed them then you can speak whatever you want you can tell something about yourself and you know what that word he did he start singing a song in english that was also interesting thing which we enjoyed and after not only just three activities i have played this one project just gave me many paths to explore my more skills which i have done later on in whole january i arranged four and five workshops that's the part of my life because i love to speak in a public so i just tried these old things as well so this is the thing which i have played and that was my plan and i just tried my level best to uh, work on my play plan and just follow my plan that was the thing which i decided if i say that how much i have got uh satisfaction by this project so i must say that 90 Eight percent, I got satisfaction for myself because in the stage in the life of the many stages, we just consumed ourselves and we just considered ourselves 
that we have forgot many things in the life but actually this is not a reality these all activities in this project has taught me that one thing suppose it this is i i just want to conclude it by the one on my quotes my words some that if you leave if you leave playing with the weapons it doesn't mean that you have forgot that when it will come it in your hand you will able to fire it again over back to you toastmaster of the evening thank you very much toastmaster faya akhtar for such an amazing speech now moving on to our next speaker there is a little reshuffling and our next speaker is toastmaster latif mansoor ali could we have toastmaster latif mansoor ali with us yes okay toastmaster gulam kader are you with us Toastmaster Imran, he is not in yet. Toastmaster Rusa, I request you to please call him. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, I've tried calling him. I can't get through. Okay. So, uh, Toastmaster Latif, could you tell us some jokes? In the meanwhile, we can have your evaluator back. How many jokes I have to say? Or should I request Toastmaster Hibaris Khan? Can ah, you can, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, just not to wait for Gulam Kader. You have my evaluation sheet. At least deliver the project. At least I can continue with it. Just a minute, minute. Moiz Mansur Mansur Ali. Latif Mansur Ali. Who's Moiz Mansur Ali? My brother. <laughs> Hi. Hello, brother. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So, do you do you know Latif? Um, barely. Barely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't find Bailey in your contact. How are you guys? We are good. So, could we have your brief introduction? Um, how did you find Toastmaster Latif at Karachi Toastmasters Club? So, Latif is my brother. Um, he's been. I mean, I moved to Canada like in 2018. Before that, I was in Pakistan, and he's been in Kuwait and Saudi Arabia for almost 20 years now. Um, when I moved here, he told me one day out of two, like you know, uh, that he is working. He's he has joined Toastmaster, and I should join him just as a guest for one time to see how I find it. And he was just being motivating us encouraging us to just keep just give it a shot and finally here i am <laughs> giving it a shot <laughs> okay um, so my my next question when are you going to become the member of our club um i would love to i'm just thinking about it because um the timing of covid it it's it it's nine o'clock here and i could only join today because i have resigned and i'm switching a job <laughs> so when you resign you are already like you know they they, they just don't give you a lot of work so just <laughs> so my laptop is open here <laughs> but i'm barely doing anything so yeah um otherwise like it's it's really difficult with the time difference uh, we have although i would love to join if it was on the weekend <laughs> but yeah i'll try you know we have a very good example toastmaster kareem meghani he he is in madagascar and he mostly joins from there so there won't be any problem for you what so, time is there in madagascar i'm sorry kareem meghani are you with us could you tell us what time is it so we are two two hours behind uh, so right now it's 5:30 Okay, but it's nine thirty-four so a.m. So it's quite perfect that I I finished. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can, at, uh, well, if you can share your experience of uh, the Toastmaster UH. 
UHN. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So last time when I like that was the first time I joined um, uh, like Toastmaster as a guest to know about how it works. Um, and it was, I think, so it was in Kara it was happening in Karachi uh, at Beach Luxury Hotel. So after joining that, I looked for the resources at um, in Canada available to so that I can also be part of the Toastmaster. And uh, I've looked at my wife works at you know, you know, University Health Network, and they have their own group of where they are operating this Toastmaster. So I joined there, but um, I have some studies and assignments to submit, and I wasn't able to join yet. However, I'm positive that I will be there. <laughs> so. okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Moise Mansurabi. We would like to hear you more in table discussion. Don't worry, don't go away. So, with that, Toastmaster Faya, could we request you to mute your mic, please? Okay, now our next speaker is Toastmaster Kareem Meghani. Yes. Sorry, not Toastmaster Kareem Meghani, it's Toastmaster Latif Mansur Ali. And he is going to deliver his project managing a difficult audience, engaging uh, pathways, in engaging humor level four. And I request Toastmaster Ghulam Kadir, his evaluator, to please explain the role and also introduce the speaker. Over to you, Ghulam Kadir. Ghulam Kadir, are you with us? Or should I take another interview from another guest? I think, uh, I think that if you are not prepared, why don't you go and prepare yourself for us? <laughs> He so he when you are when, when you are yes yes please he will be signing in soon signing in yeah may okay. I request everyone to switch on their cameras if possible mute their mics take a very good picture as if I can completely understand you know uh, when you are too prepared the speech doesn't happen when you're not prepared it, you know you have to just be in front of the camera <laughs> I'm i was just sharing my experience brother <laughs> murphy's law <laughs> we are looking for the evaluator called Ghulam Kader. Whoever finds it, please let me know. Sir, my speech objective. At least you can start with my speech objective. Uh, okay. I can evaluate him. He has all wrong. Toastmaster Hiba is always ready for every role, but not prepared yes. for it. Except speeches. Except speeches. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And such speeches, but uh, Toastmaster of the day, if you want, I can uh, perform the evaluation because TM Majahat is not here as well. I guess so. Since you are the evaluator, I suggest you to please follow up and bring him okay, in the yeah. meeting. Yes, I can cover up the role. So, yes. next time, there will be the responsibility of the evaluator to bring his speaker within the meeting, within time. Don't you think it's the responsibility of the speaker to come on time? And the team, Heba, team Heba, let me interrupt. We have a speaker shot. Can you do a speaking slot today? Can you take a speaker slot today? Unfortunately, TM Talha did say something. I have a problem. <laughs> I said it today. TM Talha. I confess I have a very bad, bad habit of procrastinating and I irritate every DPE from TM Urusa to TM Tanha to TM Imran. Everyone has been my victim and I irritate everyone. I try to prepare my speech, but uh, I have this habit of procrastinating and take it at the end moment and, you know, I cannot prepare. But next is me. Next is me. 
Next is me because you, you'll be, I'll be your victim then. So, last week, I've just got an idea. You have a very good to topic about procrastination. You can write a few. But unfortunately, my the topic that I have to you know perform is on body language. You know it yourself. Those master of the day. Anyways, who's going to do that? Come, come, come. I can do it if you want. Because my speaker isn't here. Yes. Toastmaster Rusa, what should we do now? You are the. He's here. He's here. DQ is here. DQ is here. Think of the devil and devil is just join the. How are you, everyone? Okay, Toastmaster Gulam Kade. So Toastmaster Latif Mansoor Ali going to deliver his project, uh, managing a difficult audience, which he just showed the trailer. And I request you to please, Toastmaster Ghulam Kadir, read out the objectives of his speech and also introduce the speaker. Over to you. Let me. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. Let me just go through the project details first. Let me just pull it out. So fellow okay. Toastmasters and guests, Master Latif Mansoor Ali will give a project uh, on managing a difficult audience. His title of speech is Liar Lover. The speech duration is 10 to 15 minutes. So the purpose of this project is the member to practice the skills needed to address audience challenges when he or she presents outside of the Toastmasters Club. So pretty good project. Toastmaster Latif, wish you best of luck. Over to you. Toastmaster Latif, I'll be going to start your timing. Okay, it's 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes, 10, 11, 12, okay? Yes. Okay, all the best. The school which I used to study, the top qualifications, the top positions were all boys. Do you know the reason? If you have guessed it, then you are full over there with me. Otherwise, it was a boys' school. And because of that, because of only that reason, I am more attracted to men or boys. I feel more comfortable with them. Even when I feel like having something to share, I occupy most of my time watching a Bollywood hero rather than a heroine. By Toastmaster Hiba, if she could uh, write a very good speech on procrastination, I think. And that the, the joke master, his joke was very, extremely good. Excuse me, TM Imran. Mic is on, sir. TM Imran, I request to just... Uh... Are, you, are you talking to me? Yes, yes, I will follow. I will follow up your request to TM Heba. But right now, I'm concentrating on what speech I'm going to deliver for you, and was, it will be. What, it might be interesting for you. Was I saying something? Oh, I'm extremely very sorry. I forgot to turn uh, mute my mic. Okay, my bad. So, on my days of school and colleges, I never had a problem appearing myself towards any kind of stage fear because I had never thought of impressing any girls. This incident happened to me strangely after my college and school days. I worked as a studio photography. Over there, my, my luck was so well that I just have to hold a camera, ask for a smile and weigh a lot. The girls do smile. But I was always trying to be the good boy. The Shah Rukh Khan, the Salman Khan, who never go and take the initiative and wait for girls to come and deliver whatever the message they want to. So initially, at my counter of, of, of my shop, I used to be very, very much focused about what I'm going to deliver 
the receipt and checking the payments and what are the orders. But eventually I understand that being nice is not helping me because there was an evil in me. There were evil was asking me to do something which you always see in films. Give it a smile. Ask for some numbers. Tell them something, something happening. But I never had that guts. Finally, I decided to show up with a smile. A smile which will Special help. Latif, I have a question. Uh, how have you managed to loosen up this shirt of yours? Because you're looking so smart and I can see you have loosened uh, a, 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 a very good number of weight. I can see that because your shirt is quite loose today. No, 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 no. No, no, yes, that's not the thing. I, just no, wait, no, just I wait. don't think so. I don't think so. That's not the thing. I think it's there is something shirt, else. He's glowing. Uh, he has, uh, he has, uh, he has thought in his hairs, but I can see that he has lost some weight as well. If he Something can shed some light on that. Yeah, friends, yeah, friends, friends, that. friends, friends, I, I understand. I understand. Right now, I am the center of attraction. But let me allow you to give up my speech, my topic, which I would like to and I have prepared to entertain you. And for sure, I will answer your question, how I have loosened my shirt or reduced my weight. So back to the counter where I used to be working and being nice, I started giving them with a smile. And trust me, that smile worked. It worked so well that I was proud enough that I was getting a response. But asking for the other number, which is my phone number, I never had a business card. So I used to give my uncle's phone number. And whenever I give them, he used to ask me, where is your number? And I was like, just call it this number. And I was pretending to be a very nice guy. But the evil in me was really asking for doing some devil things. One day, I received a call. And to my extent, like I was trying to be nice, busy at work, everything. My uncle is keeping an eye on me. So as it, when I received the call, I was like, yes. And now I don't, I can't speak anything. Finally, that call did not come again. The reason is I managed to smile, but what will I say? And that took me another practice and eventually I went, started going for weddings for photography. But even here, I was an assistant to my uncle. He handles a video camera and I used to go along with him. It is back of 1990 stories where you know that the cameraman had a wire man with them and who carries the light with holding with them. So I used to follow him. I used to make the way when he is going ahead, and I used to make clear of the way when he's coming backwards. But when he is still and making a movie, I never looked at what he's shooting. I was shooting up on the eyes of who is looking at me. And interestingly, almost every girl was trying and having an eye on me. Maybe that is my belief, but yes, this was it is. Whenever I get a chance of seeing them in a room separately or alone, I used to go inside with the reason that I need a charger to charge this mobile or charge this uh, uh, camera battery or charge up something or had a wire extension. Anything I used to go for the reason without any flirting, I just come out. But I should make an appearance over there. That was little bit guts, which I used to always make it. But finally, when I used to sit at night with, with my friends, everybody used to tell them Latif, that... Have you, uh, have you heard about Cleopatra syndrome? Okay, uh, if you can explain me right now or afterwards, it's fine. Uh, no, it actually, take another five uh, minutes. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really concerned about you because uh, your entire life seems to be a textbook case of a chronic to Petra syndrome patient. And uh, in the, what happens in that syndrome is that the person seems to think that everybody is just looking at them. 
even if they're not. And uh, their uh, unneeded, uh, their unfulfilled uh, desires and uh, the gaps in their, uh, I don't know, childhood manifest themselves in the form of uh, supposed attention given to them by others. Uh, all these ladies who keep looking at you, did anyone actually come up and ever talk to you? Uh, just, just answer uh, like uh, uh, it's uh, just answer yes or no. I mean, you don't need to stress yourself about it. We can, yes. we can, we can arrange, we can arrange something, you know. DJ Mdala, but appreciate your concern. You had a very, very, very valid point. Yes, I was attracted, and my addiction was the movies which I used to watch, and. I'm but sure. Do you realize? Do you realize that that the movie heroes that you idealize, idealize are classic stalkers? I mean, <laughs> the the things that they, they, those heroes used to do: chase after girls, send them letters, uh, climb in, into their homes, uh, chase them across colleges and universities, and send them love letters. Uh, any one of those things these days would land you in jail within five seconds. So I don't know what's going on with you. Like, uh, uh, I'm talking about year 1990s. Is that a, is that a, is that a padded cell I see behind you, or, or is that a plain wall? Uh, it's a plain but, wall. But you 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 can be you can be open with us. You know, uh, you are in safe company. You don't have to worry about anything. Thank you, DJ Mdala. Thank you for the input. Actually, yeah, you, TM, you really TM Latif. Great... TM Latif. Um, I, I'm just thinking one thing, isn't it? Can, uh, can I, can I like... TM Navit, just give can, me a second. Can, I'll just continue with uh, DJ Mdala's actually. You can, input you can, you can not add on, you can add on my question as well. Isn't it uh, something called lack of self-confidence? Now you can answer. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Extremely right, sir. Because of my education in boys' school and colleges, being around with many of the boys, yes, self-confidence was very much lacking to my self-belief also. Though if my mirror says I am handsome, does not matter what girls think. It was just my myself, what DTM Dala said, I completely agree with it. And I almost, at this kind of age, everyone is almost similar to them. So what I, what I was trying to say, cut short, I wanted to continue with what I ended, I was trying to come across. At, in the evening hours, I used to be with my friends and they used to talk what happens to them with, uh, with their days. And they were all professionals. They were talking with like, you know, what happened to their job, what they learned today. And if I tell them that I learned how to click a picture, maybe that would get an interesting and would get and my attention. So I started building up that I have a love affair with a customer of mine. And she's so beautiful. She's so charming. And I think that she just whiz, just crosses the shop in front of me just to see me. And I start building up these stories in such a manner that finally, in some way of my mind, I was completely into it. One day, my friend calls me and said, can I see Mlati? her picture? Yeah, yes. I, was, I have to compliment you on your shirt. You have a, such a vibrant personality. Why wear such a dull shirt with such a vibrant personality? Why it is so boring? I'll, I'll come across to you. Let me, let me just complete my, uh, this point of mine, please. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is I went into deep of the story. And this story made me think a lot of different things. And my friend was really believing that I am into this love with this lady. But actually, these girls I never met. I had no right to say anything about them. They are not my part of fake stories. They have their own imagination. They have their own life. Though they are in school, they are in colleges, they are in their professional works, but they cannot be part of my fake stories. Only if they have my permission, I will allow them in my life and with their permission. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Latif Mansoor Ali. And you are qualified, and your timing is 12 minutes and 24 seconds. 
I wish Toastmaster Zehra Latif would have joined the meeting and she would be one of the best disruptor. Nothing breaks me down, sir. <laughs> Latif, are you really into men? I did not know this, man. Seriously, I'm concerned. Hello, hello, hello. The disruption period is over. Let's move towards the next speaker. Okay, moving on to our next speaker. He is very charming, very good looking, and he possesses a very good smile. Let's welcome Toastmaster Ghulam Kader. Before that, I request our Madam President, Toastmaster Urusa Kamal, to please read down the objectives of the speech and introduce the speaker. All right, so Toastmaster Ghulam Kader will be giving a speech from Dynamic Leadership to understand your communication style. The topic of his speech is me and my communication. The objective of his speech is, just a second, I just lost it. It's for the member to learn oh. different communication skills. Different communication styles and identify his or her primary style and to share the impact of his or her style on others. We all know Toastmaster Ghulam Kader as one of the most pro prominent speakers, and he has spoken on a lot of a range of topics, I must say. So over to you, Toastmaster Ghulam Kader. <clears throat> Am I audible and visible? Great. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, we communicate with each other. We communicate with our family members, we communicate with our colleagues, we communicate with our office staff, we communicate even when while we are walking on the road. So we communicate every hour, every second, every minute, and even in a nanosecond we communicate. We as a human being have started communication from the day we have been born. When we were born, we cried. <laughs> and that was our communication. We used to cry when we used to be hungry. We used to cry when we used to poop. We used to cry whenever we needed our mother. Now today, we do cry when our appraisals go haywire. And we do have a laugh whenever there is a good bonus which is credited into our account. So today, I am going to tell the, every one of us that what sort of communication styles we have as a Toastmaster, which we need to learn, and what is my communication style. So let's move on to the first slide. What types of communication styles are there? As a Toastmaster, we need to learn all these communication styles. The first style is the direct communicators. These are the ones who quickly come to the point. They will not waste a single minute by talking here and there. Whenever you will get into a communication with them or whenever you will get into engaged in any sort of a debate or speech or in a meeting, they will come directly to the point. Initiating communicators. Okay. So most of us are working and what we do, that we do meetings with our colleagues. So there are certain communicators, there are certain individuals who come in the meeting and they'll start the communication. Like as to, okay, how was your day? And what did you do over the weekend? And what did you eat in the meal? So what's, how, everything is okay at the family? So these are the ones who will initiate the communication. So they are called initiating communicators. Supportive communicators are the ones who will remain calm, steady, and approachable. You will be able to go and speak to them and you will be able to speak your heart out. They will give you good advice. They will give you good suggestions. So they'll be always be present for you whenever there is a supportive communicator. Analytical communicators, 
these are the ones who are the Einsteins. They will analyze each and everything. They will go into the numbers and facts. You cannot give general statements in front of them. Whenever you talk to them, you will have to give some facts and figures in order to convince them. And whenever they'll talk, they'll also back up their communication with the facts and figures. And they have a good analytical brain. So, Toastmasters, please unmute yourself and tell me what is my communication style as you have been watching and as you have been a witness to my speeches in this Toastmaster journey. Anyone? Analytical. Analytical. At least no one in this in the list. Initiating. <laughs> initiating. Someone said analytical. Someone said initiating. Supportive. And? Yeah, I supportive, think this, I guess. This question should be asked from your men mentees. They will tell okay. us. Yes, Vajat. <laughs> Yeah, and his communication. Other. Yeah, I would like to say his communication style is supportive. 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 You are absolutely right, Bajar. My communication style is supportive. And those who are close to me, those who interact with me on a regular basis, they'll find it that my communication style is also supportive. Now, what is the impact of my style on the people around me? So let's first talk about my colleagues. My colleagues, my team members, my peers, and my bosses. Because of this style, they heavily rely on me. They trust on me that this person will not let us down. They get support from me. I'm easily approachable to them. They get all sorts of advices, whatever professional and the guidance which they require from me. So they trust on me. My friends, so the impact of my this style on the friends is that I have lots and lots of secrets in my heart for them, about them. I keep the secrets, they share their personal lives, they share their professional lives, they seek the guidance from me, they seek the advice from me, and they know that whatever guidance and support which I'm going to give it to them will be from the core of my heart and core and, and will be with all sincerity. So they also have a shoulder to cry on. Whenever they are in trouble, they come to me and then sh they share their issues, their problems, their whatever the, is, is going in their life. My daughter, with this style, I have only one daughter, Zara. So Zara has become a best friend to me. She thinks that Baba is my best friend. So she is the one, she comes to me and tells me whatever she's unable to share with her mother or any other family member. So for my daughter, I am her best friend. And the last character in my life, my wife. And my style with her is always, yes, dear. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Ulam Kader, for such a wonderful speech. Thank you very much. So our next speaker is very young, dynamic, and very energetic speaker. He is Toastmaster Vajahat. And I request his evaluator, a very dedicated Toastmaster, Toastmaster Heba Reis Khan, to explain the objects and introduce the speaker. Toastmaster Heba, over to you. Okay, PM, uh, fellow Toastmasters and guests, uh, PM Majahat is doing. PM. Patahat is doing presentation mastery level two, introduction to Toastmasters mentoring, gratitude to my mentors, and the duration of his speech is five to seven minutes. And uh, the objective of his speech, there are two. The first one, the purpose of 
this project is for the member to clearly define how Toastmasters envision men mentoring. And the second one, the purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspects of a previous experience as a project. Over to you, uh, DM Majaha. The virtual stage is yours. Thank you very much. <coughs> Am I audible? Okay. Uh, my life is full of complexities, full of true and for, uh, full of zigzag. You can say that my life is full of twist. So let me share you a story about my life, which uh, I have been observing for almost uh, 35 years. Let me share with you some story, a story. A personality which who, who changed my life, a personality who gave me a motivation, a personality who gave me a focus to, to be in something and to do something and enhance my communication skills and enhance my confidence. So let me start this story from the scratch level. I, I have done MBA marketing. I did my study with extreme motivation, with full of energy, with full of dedication, with full of focus and concentration and tried my level best to find some grades in my study because I was the only son of my parents and I belong to a middle class family. And that is the only way out that I can do something in my life for my parents who has been in a struggle for more than 35 years to just, they want me to do something in my life. So started my study. I did my study with extreme focus, with extreme motivation and dedication. I, I completed my study, MBA marketing, and then I start my career. I start my career with the with an ex, with, a, with just like an excited, hardworking, a non-political worker. I did my best in a call center industry, and did my best and. As soon as I start working in a right direction and uh, in right focus, I got many achievements in my life. As far as the uh, achievements in my life, like uh, uh, like uh, like like in sales management, I, I promoted as a manager, and then afterward, I promoted as a as a marketing project head. I was looking all the SEO, all the PPC of the marketing, all the online marketing, all the chats, all inbound and out, all outbound are just going behind me. Okay. So in this scenario, I tried my level best to be very focused and uh, got a good result in my life. I started, I started earning good money. At the time, at the age of 26 to 27, I started working good money. I handled approximately 100 to 120 sales staff. But one thing is just, uh, sitting in me it is a fear of speaking in front of the people that is the biggest fear i have been taking with me for more than 10 years i was not aware of that fear because i was just doing small meetings with the people like five people seven people eight people i'm just sitting in the meeting room and just discussing about the business and all the strategy and all the things but i didn't aware that as far as my capacity is concerned, I cannot handle the mob of the people, the, 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 the crowd in front of me at a very, the same year when I was achieving many things in my life, I was handling the marketing department, I was handling the business development department, the two departments, one is marketing inbound and outbound, and one is business development. Uh, the business development means the working on those markets which are not renowned in which the company is not renowned and we need to open those markets. There are many people, extreme uh, focus, extreme excitement, extreme learning of the business, of trading. But uh, at the end of the year, we I am encountering one accident, one incident that uh, we are having the annual dinner of all the people, approximately six to 700 people who are sitting and they want me to listen. So, 
the compare just called my name he praised me for 5 to 10 minutes that if like without me the company is nothing he praised me a lot because i was very dedicated employee and the most senior one and i at the at that year i hired approximately 350 people in the company just to promote their business so they called my name i just went on the on, on the dais and just i just stand and just i just behave like that that uh, yeah thank you very much for calling and uh, my owner of the company wanted to tell and so i want to so at that at that time i could not be able to speak and i just said thank you and the crowd was just clapping i, I don't know why they were clapping at that time so at that time i was aware of my fear and for 10 years i have been fighting with this fear with this fear but within 5 to 6 weeks or maybe you can say 2 months i am facing a very positive change in me just because of those master i found that those master through a referral and uh, in that those master i talk with mr tala and mr tala is my you can say that he is my first mentor and he recommended me a very nice personality which is mr gulam and right now whatever like i am speaking in front of you and at least i am trying to speak in front of you and just using some words in front of you i could not be able to speak a single word when i joined those master it was not a very good scenario with me as regarding to the speaking in front of the people in crowd so right now whatever i am just because of these two people mr tala and mr gulam that they mr gulam that they really helped me a lot he taught me how to speak like i don't know how to speak i didn't know how to speak in the front of the people how to manage the body language but right now he helped me a lot they both helped me a lot and whatever i am it's just because of these two personality thank you very much my full gratitude with you i hope uh, you will go way beyond the expectation of the people related with you thank you very much thank you very much to master wajahat that was quite inspiring and persuading speech with that our first segment prepared speech segment has come to an end and and i request the timer has everyone qualified mr timer yes thank you to master of the day uh, today we had five speakers kareem megani spoke for 7 minutes 34 second other four are all qualified so let me know if you want okay uh, so yes please toast master darha you are saying something yeah yeah i'm just waiting for the president uh, go ahead before floating you repeat the, the time toast master lati 7 minutes 34 second 4 seconds above 4 seconds means everyone else is qualified yeah yes that's a good speech right yeah okay <laughs> thank you as usual toast master madam toast master urusa has given her verdict so i request everyone to cast your vote and the zoom poll is going to be on your screen and you have 30 seconds to cast your vote so we have toast master wajahat toast master fayakhta toast master latif mansur ali and finally toast master ulam qader what about kareem magani It yes, was qualified. Yes, it was overtime by four seconds. So, are we done, Toast Master Talha? Still four more votes to go. Will appreciate if I can get one or two more. Please, Master. I'm closing in five. 
four, three, two, one point seven five, one point three four, one and done. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Talha. Before moving on to our exciting uh, segment, that is table topic segment, we have a request. So Toastmaster Najam Rizvi will going to deliver his evaluation as he is running out of battery. If his laptop drained out, then he has to go to the, to the office and get his laptop charged. So Toastmaster Najam, the stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Singh Rana. Uh, I didn't want you to give you all the details, but anyway, Toastmaster Kareem, was delivering his uh, project from Pathway Visionary Communication Level 4. And the purpose of this project is to practice the skill of communicating a change and a change to an organization or a group. In his case, the scenario that he presented is that he was analyzing why a certain program wasn't working and what needed to be done and how he communicated this information to the group that he was lead, leading and also the people who were above him, how we communicated these things to him, to them. So <clears throat> Toastmaster Magani started very well by first explaining to our, the audience here how, what the scenario was that they were looking after a poverty alleviation program, alleviation program, and it didn't seem to be working because the level of poverty stayed at 27% despite all the interventions that they made, like giving food packages or providing uh, school fees or rent to this group. But despite all that, the level of poverty remained the same. So, what he needed to do was to communicate to his group what needs to be done. So before advising what change was, changes were required, he needed to tell them what the problem was to analyze the problem. So that's the first step. Before you communicate a change, you need to first understand the problem and analyze the problem and explain the problem to the people that you want to communicate the change too. And he did that very well by pointing out the three areas which uh, apparently they were lacking in. One was uh, they felt that the uh, recipients of the aid were not, were too lazy to work. So what to do about it? Then there was the issue of they didn't really know why the, what the problem was. So they needed to go in and study the problem, go to their homes and understand them better. And then they, they felt that some of the uh, recipients of the uh, aid, they needed mentoring or they needed handholding to be able to improve their situation. So with that analysis, they decided to have a mentoring program. They did, decided to have a, a job identification program, skill development, skill development program, and then to also visit all these uh, families and understand the problem better, understand the issue better. So this was the objective of the <coughs> of his pro of, of his project, and he organized it very well. He analyzed the problem very well, and he communicated the change requirements very well. So congratulations to him, and I think he's achieved his objectives very well. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much. That was quite very well evaluation. And with that, we are now moving towards a very interesting segment that is called table topic segment. It is rightly said that we learn with Fern. So Toastmaster Naveed Aslam, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster of the day. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, good evening. One of the 
most exciting portions of the Toastmaster meeting is the table topic session. The objective of uh, table topic session is to challenge members to develop their impromptu communication skills, to effectively think on their feet <clears throat> by answering unrehearsed questions. So today, as your table topic master, I will ask questions not related to the theme of our meeting because uh, when I was told and I, when I saw the agenda, I've already made out the uh, questions, but um, they will be very easy and quite exciting. So your response must be at least one to two minutes. And uh, uh, I will also encourage you to use word of the day. So let's get started. Who will be who wants to be the first? Raise your hands. Guest Amit. Guest Amit. Invite guest Amit. <clears throat> okay. Latif, so you have delivered a wonderful speech, so I can't say no to you. Amit, can you please open, yes, switch on your camera? Yeah, I'm, I'm visible. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I'll give you a topic. So what are the benefits of COVID-19? I thank you, uh, Toastmaster, for giving me such a wonderful topic. Never in my life I had wondered I will join Karachi Toastmasters for a virtual meeting. So this is the first and foremost uh, benefit which I have uh, gained in the Toastmasters because of the COVID-19. Not only Karachi Toastmasters, I've been part of European Toastmasters, US Toastmasters, Philippine Toastmasters, whichever uh, Toastmasters are there in the world, I've been a part of that. Apart from Toastmasters, I have given work from home and for initial four, five months, we, our Prime Minister has uh, told the COVID-19 lockdown from March 22. For the past three, four months, we did not have any work. So I had a good family time. I had a small flat going on, construction flat going on in my native town. So I had gone there and I have been civil engineer. I personally supervise the flat. My father who is 75 years old and my mother who is 71 years old, they had got a lot of benefit because they were in the house and I took over supervision of the house. And also I got a lot of family time. Not only me, there were a lot of people all over the world who got a lot of family times. Being in a um, um, city like Mumbai, where we people don't have any much of uh, family time, because even I, I think so, Karachi, people go in the morning and come at night, nine o'clock. So we don't have much time for our family. So this is one of the best benefit which I got in uh, COVID-19. And some other benefits like I got to uh, watch Netflix. There were a lot of documentaries of uh, many great uh, visionaries, starting from Jobs, Steve Jobs, a lot of this. So these are, these are a lot of benefits which I have seen in COVID-19. So with this, I hand over to Table Topic Master. Thank you. Wonderful, Amit. So family time, working from home, you have listed down all the major ones. Um, right, so let's move now to, we have, uh, we have a sibling of Latif Mansoor Ali, Moiz. Moiz Mansoor Ali, Moiz. I'm sorry, I'm in another meeting right now. Sorry. Okay, no problem. So let's then move to Najam Rizvi. Uh, Najam Sab, I'm giving you 
a topic which is uh, probably very close to everyone who uh, drives in Karachi. Parking fee in Karachi on the name of KMC. I think he has gone to pay the parking fee. <laughs> you know, maybe to check his car is safe. I'm sorry, I'm back. I had gone to ask the family to uh, turn the TV volume low, otherwise you would be listening to something else. Now, uh, the question was, I understand, as I understand, is parking fee in Karachi. Yep. Well, uh, parking fees are something that most metropolitan cities have. So I, per se, I have nothing against paying a parking fee. But how this entire uh, system works, uh, that's, I would argue against, because there's total lack of transparency on how these contracts are given out and where the revenue goes. What I understand is happens is that these parking places are auctioned and then uh, the contractor is uh, allowed to collect the fee. So the problems are that one, uh, the spaces shown in the auction are less than the actual spaces, or somehow the contractor manages to find more space than the contract sh shows. To the people who are assigned to charge the bargain fee, they try to always ask you for some more money. The official rate, if it's say 20 rupees, they'll ask for, they'll override 30 on the tickets, and then they'll ask you for 50, 20 rupees tip. The third thing is that if you pay a fee, it should be for a certain period, but if you change your spot, say if you park someplace in Tariq Road and move down, say 10, 10 spaces ahead, they'll expect you to pay the fee again. So these are the anomalies, which I think if they are addressed, parking fee, and if the fee is used for the benefit of the citizens and for the development of the roads and the city, then I have no objection to paying the parking fee. That's my take on it. Over to you. Thank you very much, TM. Uh, Najam, um, lack of transparency, yes. So let's move to the ne next one. Um, Muhammad Azhar Khan. Yes, sir. Uh, Azhar, I'll give you something which is uh, related to your uh, field. So your topic is creative people are not disciplined. Okay. Asana everyone. Uh, this my topic is uh, creative persons are not disciplined. Uh, I think I'm not sure, but I have to explain this topic uh, because uh, whenever we follow the all time and punctuality, so I think we will lost our creativity. Maybe uh, uh, I have to create one design and one any new concept. To, so I have to uh, wake up all night and late night. So I can't go office uh, on time. So this is the first thing. Second thing is uh, we uh, we have no boundaries. We have no boundaries. We have uh, we have leash everything. And basically, if you want to create something, so you forget all all everything around the world. But you focus your own work and you think about yourself, your work, and then after that you will get some ideas and <coughs> that's why we can't uh, we can't follow the rules and disciplines. If uh, we wake up early in the morning and go on a time on the office, so how can I think? How can I create the ideas? No. With otherwise, as compared to other, uh, we we will go the other. Uh, we will go the. Uh, we will not follow the discipline. It means we, we are from everything, and now we can generate the ideas. Then execute our my our designs and animation at X Y Z. So I think these are one thing, uh, the one basic strong thing. You should not follow the discipline and rules if you want to make 
big and creative person. Over to you, Prosper. <clears throat> Thank you, Azhar. Wow, so quite a lot of uh, takeaways from uh, Azhar that um, the ideas come at late night, so can't wake up, so can't be disciplined. These sort of uh, discussions I already had, I always had with my brother who used to work in an ad company. So similar ones, thank you very much. Um, so next we can have, uh, let's see. Oh, I can't see Mr. Farhan, so Heba, are you ready? Yes, I am. Good. Okay, let me let me see. Yeah. There is lot about uh, you must have heard about uh, a wonderful speech of uh, an admiral of US Army who has explained the benefits of making bed. So I would, I'm giving you topic, making bed after waking up early in the morning. Okay. And what is the word of the day? Word of the day, I was uh, traveling. I didn't knew that, my apologies. Uh, but uh, if anyone can help. Phenomena is the word of the day. Phenomena. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. I have always been a half and half a discipline i can be a disciplined sleeper as well and i can wake up late as well but uh, my mother has always inculcated this habit or uh, my mother has always inculcated this habit in me to you know when i wake up i should always make my bed because making uh, your bed is a sign of good habit it shows that it shows the other person that uh, your uh, you are not only your you live in you live a disciplined life and uh, you live a disciplined life. You are also you also keep your room tidy and uh, um, can be a. Uh, it can be a phenomena because uh, it can be a phenomena because uh, there are people. Uh, it, it can be a phenomena because uh, it can give a impression. It can give a good impression to the other person and uh, of how you live your life. And uh, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you, Hiba. Thank you for um, for the uh, for the explanation. And just uh, to uh, sorry, I'm cutting and uh, cutting you. But I didn't. I'm giving my own interpretation of this thing. But, but uh, I had not to be honest. I've not heard the speech of the admiral you you were talking about. <laughs> right. I'll I'll send you the link. <laughs> so, so she is completely qualified. Uh, there will be no case, uh, no plagiarism on those masters. Full, full, fully qualified. Original one. Yeah. Okay. I am free from a meeting. If you want, I can add some few, few points in there with um, on same topic or a different topic if you want me to do it. So Moise, I'll give you. Thank you very much uh, for letting me know. So. I will give you another topic, and now the topic is yours. If you could uh, switch on your camera. I was about to do that, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So Moise, you are defending your innocence in front of a jury. The charge on you is that you have broken the rule regarding smoking in the office. Um, interesting topic. <laughs> um, so here I am, I broke the law of smoking in the office for staying first. Uh, I should be smoking before I defend myself, um, which I don't. Um, but if I ever was smoking and I was caught in, and I wanted to defend myself, I have heard a lot of stories why people smoke and why 
they are they so want smoke before to, you know in, able to work actually um so yeah i mean I, talking of one of my friends experience um they smoke i mean they say that you know so here they um so i've been called in front of jury and i'm defending myself i'm uh, saying uh, why did i do what i did so my explanations are um so my explanations are you know i wouldn't i want I, I really want to follow the rules and of the office but the presentation and the project was really important and i tried to follow the rules but you know if you want my performance here i am you can choose if you want better benefits or you want me not to smoke um if <laughs> if um they decide to they decide my performance over my smoking i can completely stop smoking and or i can follow the rules but if you want me to be available in time and complete my task in time then you will have to allow me to smoke <laughs> and forgive me for what i did <laughs> Thank you. Over to you, Navid. Wonderful, uh, Moise. My way or highway. Very good. So, um, how much time do we have, timer? We are allowed for eight speakers. So right now you're only have uh, you have two more speakers too. You can invite two more speakers. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Lokesh. Uh, okay, uh, Asad. Uh, uh, there's a name Asad. Can I see? Uh, uh, if you could please switch on your camera. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, Asad. Yeah, hi. So I'll ask you. Yeah. Asad, what is our role? Your topic is what is our role in making Karachi traffic a nightmare? A nightmare? Yeah. Oh. A mess, a, as messy as we saw when you when we left office. What is our role in that? Yeah. So if you are uh, traveling on the bike, your first foremost responsibility is to ride on the fast lane and just uh, and drive in front of the cars. And when they hit you, just uh, act like it's all their mistakes. Secondly, if you are uh, if you are uh, driving a car, it's your responsibility to uh, drive on the leftmost lane and uh, maybe hit a few a few bicycles and start a fight there. Secondly, when uh, uh, do not do not ever wear a seatbelt, so uh, traffic police will stop you and then you you will cause uh, uh, entire traffic to stop because they don't care that if they are stopping you in the middle of the road or <laughs> or not. So you will cause entire traffic to disrupt. Also, when you are uh, uh, going to cinemas or malls, uh, be, always make sure to uh, park your cars uh, in the middle of the road, or if not in the middle of the road, just adjacent to the road, not in the designated parking places, so you can cause uh, public uh, 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 anger and uh, whatnot. Also, when you are uh, 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 driving a car or maybe riding a bicycle, uh, make sure to always spit your pan and whatever you are chewing in the middle of the road and cause disgust to other passengers. And uh, uh, I would say, like, maybe that, that's about it. I can't think of anyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Asad. Thank you. Um, so can I, uh, can I request Azaz? A facilitator. No, sure. Hi, Azaz. So, Azaz, uh, this is uh, something that my daughter has given me to speak. So, this is uh, an easy one. Okay. What do you think about washing your own plates after dinner? Nice. It's a habit that I, I'll, I, I always do, actually. So it's a good habit that you actually wash your plates or what, wash your cup uh, almost uh, when your dinner or when your tea is over. So it's a good habit to have actually. And uh, it's uh, also uh, that 
you, no one uh, apart from your mess would like to clean uh, up your plates. So it's good uh, habit to have. Uh, and uh, what can I say? And uh, it will also keep your mother from screaming that uh, why I do I have to always clean up your mess and all these things. So I think it is a pretty good habit to have and it's a pretty good habit to inculcate in, on your kids as well because uh, after that they will be responsible uh, for the, all the mess they uh, make and I don't know what else uh, do I have in mind. So that's pretty much it, I think. Thank you. Good. So, so not, not expecting uh, others to clean your mess. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Azaz. Uh, Wait, Navid, so, Navid, 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 you can invite one more, please. All right, one more. So let me invite who? Uh, okay, so TM Vajahat. Call Javed Bhatti. TM Javed. Yes, I'm here upon TM Mansoor's, uh, TM Latif Mansoor's request. I'm here. Yeah. Because uh, Vajahat didn't respond it. <laughs> All right. So, so this is this is about education. Um, uh, so something of your caliber. Education doesn't mean skill less grad graduate. It means targeted technical skills. Well, it's a hot topic these days and so many social media influencers and, and so-called motivational speakers are talking about a skill versus degree. But uh, I'm, uh, uh, as, uh, re in the recent years, since COVID began, I have also become somewhat of, uh, of a denier of our degrees and education system that we have. Because I also believe that skills are more important. Even Google's and uh, Google and Facebook companies, giant companies like Google and Facebook and all those uh, big names, they are hiring based. They are they are hiring based on the skills, not on the degrees. In fact, they are not even asking for the degree that you are having, and it's totally becoming irrelevant now, and it will become more obsolete in the coming future. And I think most of the jobs will go to the people that they have they have targeted and niche based skills and the degrees will become irrelevant but in pakistan it is not going to go away uh, and this system will dominate for i think half a century more and uh, all the government jobs and and all the bureaucratic jobs will go out to the people having so called degrees and that's about it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Javed. So that's it. Uh, uh, can I request timer if everyone is qualified? Uh, good evening, uh, Table Topic Master. Yes, everyone is qualified. And uh, do you want me to mention the timings or it's okay? I don't. That's that's yeah. fine as long as no one is qualified. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, over to you, uh, Toastmaster of the day. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, the poll is floated. So please uh, cast your vote on the best table topic speaker.
Okay, with just two votes remaining, I'm closing in five, four, three, two. Uh, last chance, anyone who wishes to cast their vote? <clears throat> Minus 1.25. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was your last chance. And, and... So that's it. From the Table Topic Master, thank you so very much for all the participation. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Naveed Astam, for conducting such an amazing session. And we just observed that when topic is negative, then negative thoughts come in series and with sequence. And we just observed it. So next time, whoever the Table Topic Master bring the negative topics, Let's see how it works. Okay, with that, now uh, the table topic session has come to an end. We are now moving towards the third segment, that is the evaluation segment. And for evaluation segment, I request Toastmaster Javad Bhatti to please come on stage and tell us about evaluations. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, very good evening and a very good morning, depending on which part of the world you have joined from. For the benefit of our new members or the guests, in case any, I would like to highlight that in Toastmasters, feedback is called evaluation. And it is the heart of a Toastmasters educational program. In this uh, section, what happens is, a member speaks and receives a verbal and written feedback from another Toastmaster and then uses those comments to improve his speech, his next speech or his next, pro next project. As an evaluator, my goal is to give, the evaluator's goal is to give constructive feedback that will help the member who has spoken or presented his, his speech improve. So our first, uh, speaker was Toastmaster Kareem Meghani and his evaluator was Toastmaster Najam Rizvi and he had requested uh, to do his evaluation earlier and he, because he had to leave. So we have already witnessed his evaluation. So we are going to move to our next evaluator who is none other than our very own, very dedicated and uh, decorated, distinguished Toastmaster Talha Bidhamid and he is going to evaluate Toastmaster Faya Akhtar. Over to you, Toastmaster Tala. Thank you so much, General Evaluator. I could say a lot about Toastmaster Faya's speech. However, how many of you noticed that Toastmaster Faya had a bandage on her left hand? So Toastmaster Faya is the one person whom nothing can deter. She suffered quite a serious injury for the past week or so, maybe two weeks ago, I'm not certain about that. And still she managed to continue to give updates about her project, about this particular project and about her plans to deliver it. So what more can I say? In the light of such dedication and such sincerity, uh, there's really no point in evaluating the finer points of the speech. But nevertheless, this is what I'm tasked with doing. So this is what I'll uh, try to do. So Toastmaster Faya, you started with a fairly jarring note for an educationist. You started with talk about weapons. If you've left playing with weapons, don't think that you have forgotten them or they have forgotten you. Did you know that uh, corporal punishment just got outlawed? Uh, I would advise you to keep that in mind for your future endeavors. But again, it was a very, very apt uh, analogy in every other respect. And I love the nature of this project, the simplicity, the innocence and the simple motive of giving back to the community where you studied, where you grew up. And uh, 
as uh, I I, be I believe that when you when you presented this idea earlier, as part of your first speech, we were all mesmerized by it as well, and some of the members especially expressed that you should do this for us as well. So you managed to capture all the fun, all the sincerity of this project in your speech. Uh, you started in an imagination capturing manner. You, your tone and style is always very engaging. And your speech was well structured today. Uh, so no complaints there. Some improvement areas. Uh, first of all, let me congratulate you on uh, having a drastic improvement in grammatical errors. Uh, there were very few today. Secondly, uh, perhaps the use of uh, your own visual aids versus use of uh, slideshow could have proven distracting for some of the audience. So maybe you could have stuck to just one visual aid. And thirdly, uh, your conclusion could have been stronger. I have felt that it meandered a bit and ended with a fizzle. But other than that, uh, your speech was perfectly delivered. And moreover, the project behind the speech was perfectly accomplished. Over to you, General Welcome. Thank you, DTM Talha, for this wonderful evaluation. Our next speaker was Toastmaster Latif Mansoor Ali. And his evaluator is none other than TMGQ, Growing Quickly. No, actually it is TM Gulam Kader. Over to you, TM Gulam Kader. Audible? Yes, you are audible, but not visible. Am I visible now? Yes, yes, you are visible. I'm visible? Great. Toastmaster Latif Mansoor Ali, one of <laughs> our very confident, a very fluent in English, and the person who uses a good jargon in, in his spoken English. So let me first congratulate you on completing a very difficult project. It's a very difficult project. It's really not easy for each one of us Toastmasters to complete this project. But if I have to rate give you from zero to 10, I would give you nine out of 10. All right. So when you started your speech, you connected the real life Bill Bollywood. And as and when your speech went further, there was one song which came into my mind, especially from the Bollywood. Main aisa kyun hu? Main aisa kyun hu? So I could relate your life as to why you are aisa and why you are aisa not. So anyways, so it was a very good combination while connect connecting your real life with the Bollywood. And one sentence which I really like in your speech is, being nice is not helping me. And you have to change yourself, right? And at every moment, I used to wonder why Toastmaster Latif did like this, why Toastmaster Latif like, did like this. He could have done better in talking to the girls like this. Maybe of my experiences in the past affairs, but I could easily relate to what has gone. you have gone through. Nevertheless, you handled Toastmaster Javed and Toastmaster Rusa very well. You handled Toastmaster Imran Rana also very well. But when it came to DTM Talha, he kept on speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking. What you could have done is that you could have told him, okay, sir, please hold on. Okay, sir, please hold on. Let me let me finish my speech and I'll then come to you and I'll uh, I'll I'll ask you as to what is what are your views and what do, what do you think about myself and what do you think about anyways. Uh, overall, perfect speech. Overall, the handling was done very well, except for what I believe uh, regarding the handling of DT and Tala. Best of issue, best of luck, uh, Toastmaster Latif Ali, for your future projects. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Gulam Kader. Our next speaker was 
Toastmaster Gulam Kadir himself and his evaluator was none other than our very own president, ultra calm and knowledgeable, TM Arusa Kaval. Over to you, TM Arusa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry? Thank you so much, General Evaluator. He'll probably get back uh, to you with whatever he said. So uh, Toastmaster Hulam Kader started his speech uh, from the very beginning, from childhood. And then he shared the PPTs with data about communication style. You also asked a question to the entire audience and took their response. You shared, and lastly, you shared the whole impact with the whole audience. What I really liked about your speech was your presentation style. Your slides had minimum data with you presenting the whole speech major. So that was really wonderfully done. Your camera settings. Uh, your camera was, you were centered onto your camera and you were uh, like, I could see your torso. So it was perfectly centered and angled and your hand gestures. They were, you, you were uh, stifled most of the uh, time and a few times you gestured and that's about it. So your body movement was perfectly angled and perfectly well, um, you, you moved around very well. What I missed in your speech, because when we hear sterling speakers, we need sterling speeches. So what I missed in your speech was a person's story. What I could have connected with more uh, and understood your supportive style if you had uh, added a person's story, what maybe something with your colleagues, maybe something at home, maybe your daughter's story. So that would have made me understand your communication style a tad bit more. Other than that, your speech was really well crafted, body, uh, opening body and end it was very well done. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, and this, with this, we come down to our next evaluator. And the next speaker was Toastmaster Wajahat, who is going to be evaluated by a very headstrong and rife Toastmaster Hiba Rais Khan. Over to you, Toastmaster Hiba. Uh, thank you, DM Javed. Okay. Uh, hello, Toastmasters. And yes, uh, Toastmaster mentoring, in my view, is a very good way to pay tribute and acknowledge uh, your mentors. Your speech, uh, Tia Majahat, uh, covered both your speech objectives quite well. And your speech had an emotional element which we could all connect with in one way or another. What I liked about your speech was that you had good clarity and confidence during the time you spoke. Uh, also, you had good eye contact. And I thought that what is the wrong word. You were constantly, and I constantly found you looking at the camera while, during you, uh, during the time you spoke. And the audience were also quite aware about what you were speaking. And you, in short, you demonstrated good audience engagement, uh, engagement and need. And also, uh, since you were quite confident. So I could not detect any signs of nervousness or hesitation, and you were quite. You had good comfort level during the time you spoke. Uh, you had good. Uh, you had constructed your speech well, and uh, with good, with a good personal example. And I thought that uh, we could all connect to it in one way or another. So it had a good level of interest. And also, you shared your experience as a prodigy, which is required in the evaluation. The personal experience was very good, in my view, and very detailed. However, there are some aspects in your uh, evaluation which I found you could have improved upon. The first is vocal variety. You would have incorporated vocal variety in your speech and uh, to bring it more to bring uh, more depth and uh, to interest to the audience in your speech and uh, also i thought you lack a bit of gestures you should have you know used your hands a bit more when, when you spoke and um, i thought that you were you could have covered 
the said well the, your body movements were a bit you could have been a bit so you could have been a bit more flexible during the time you spoke and uh, in all it was a good speech and i thought uh, uh, with the improvements highlighted in my evaluation you definitely are uh, become on the way to becoming a better speaker thank you Thank you, Toastmaster Hibar Rais Khan. And this was our final evaluation of prepared speeches. And now, are we going to move towards the table topics evaluator, Toastmaster of the day? Can you please guide me on this? Please ask for voting. All right. So uh, the vote will be floated, and we all have to vote for the best evaluator. Ask for qualification. Are, are all the uh, uh, are all the evaluators qualified, Mr. Timer, Toastmaster? President uh, Urusa Kaval spoke, gave evaluation speech for one minute thirty four seconds, and other than all are above two minutes. She is her own worst enemy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a disqualification. Okay, so it's time for vote, people, for the best evaluator. All right, while uh, the voting is being done, we are going to move towards the next session, which is the table topics evaluation session. And for this, I would like to invite a very seasoned Toastmaster, Toastmaster Shamam, if she is here, I cannot see her. Am I not audible and visible? Yeah, you are, perfectly. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Shamam. Thank you, General Evaluator. I had my role today is to evaluate all these speakers and Toastmasters and guests who delivered a table topic. And I must say that I found the session phenomenal, discussing every aspect towards the theme, marching towards the new century. Uh, so it was a great session, I must say, overall. Um, I will go by uh, the evaluating the speakers on the fly because of the time thing. Uh, is the timer here? I can't see them. Yeah, okay, let me pin. Sorry, I haven't pinned your thing. So our first speaker today was Toastmaster Amit. Thank you for being with us. And he told us about the positive of COVID-19. And uh, I found his speech very well structured. He amazed me how he connected the Toastmasters online session as one of the positive aspects of COVID, which is really great. We all, uh, we all appreciate that. He also connected his emotional things, the family uh, time and all that. The only thing that I think uh, um, you can improve on Toastmaster Amit is uh, facing the camera at the eye level at least, so that it creates more impression of what you are saying. Toastmaster Najam, our second speaker for today spoke about a uh, parking fee in Karachi, which was a very political uh, topic, but uh, he expressed his political vision and all the anomalies, uh, which amazed me. And he also concluded with a sound uh, positivity in even in the parking fees. And I like his approach towards building the content towards something uh, that we always forget and keep complaining. Uh, Toastmaster Hajim, you may try to, uh, on variety of facial expressions though, um, I would like to see you uh, having with variety, but I can understand the topic didn't require it, but you can uh, challenge yourself. Our third speaker for today was Toastmaster Azhar, and, and he told us about how creative persons are not disciplined. Um, and I really like how he 
started explaining his own self and justifying um, for on a lighter tone about um, his ability uh, for not being, uh, you know, ability. I call it ability for not being disciplined because they are creative. Um, I really like the uh, quoting him like having no boundaries. So that was amazing by him. Facial expressions uh, showed that he understands audience awareness. So his facial expressions were very nice. Our next uh, was Toastmaster Hippa on making bed in the morning. I like how he developed the content by complimenting her mother. Um, she may practice to uh, follow the protocol of timing in space. Once it's done, not worry about anything else. Your time is over, you have done enough, so stick by it. Uh, then we had Toastmaster Moiz who broke the law of smoking in the office. It made me smile how he uh, claimed for either be productive or smoke free. Of course, your office will pick the productive person in you. Uh, the lighter facial expressions, the giggles around were very like, uh, it showed how you understand the audience awareness and keeping interest of the audience. It was very good. Uh, then we had guest Asad again. He spoke right from the heart and I like the um, all the humorous element that he included in his speech about the chaos, we, uh, the, the spitting of pan and everything. So it was very lively and it made me smile. Thank you for putting a smile on my face. Um, and keep it up, keep coming to our meetings. Then we had Toastmaster Izzaz washing dishes and I'm really glad that he actually uh, spoke about cleaning your own mess. And so it was very good. One thing, uh, have confidence in whatever you have said. You don't need to say in the end that this is all what I know about it because you have already expressed yourself at the given time and space. So don't apologize. Uh, be confident that whatever you have spoken, it was well and it was really well. Uh, then we had lastly, Toastmaster Javed on degrees or skills, a very um, deep topic. Um, and uh, Toastmaster Javed is scared me by saying that in coming 50 years, Pakistan is not going to understand the importance of the skills. But I think he developed his content very well, gave some really good examples. Um, overall, well done to all of our speakers today. I think everyone responded very creatively to the challenging topic. Over to you, General Evaluator, evaluator Toastmaster Javed. Thank you, Toastmaster Shamam. That was wonderfully done. Okay, with this, our evaluation segment is concluded. And now we are going to move towards our role holders without whom we our meeting is incomplete. So I'm going to ask our first role holder, grammarian, Toastmaster Arusa Kawal, to present her report. Thank you, General Evaluator. There were a few sentences or phrases that could have been better, like our team start thinking, our team started thinking. We start to seeing results could have been we started to see results. Let's find a better change. Let's find a solution. I am getting down could have been I was feeling down or I was let down. I just created it more interesting could have been I just made it more interesting, uh, played all the activities could have been done the activity. And uh, I was trying to, oh no, I could not be able to speak, uh, could have been, I wasn't able to speak. A bunch of uh, interesting phrases were, um, I am my daughter's best friend, handling the mob. That's my work. And in the beginning, I will turn my screen into green. And uh, a few words were visionaries and inculcate. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Rusa. All right, our next uh, role holder was the R counter, TM Azhar Khan. TM Azhar Khan, can you please present your report? So, uh, my role is R counter. My report is uh, first, I'm telling about the speakers. First speaker is TM Kareem. Uh, no, it, uh, there is no any uh, sound. R R um. It's a separate. And Toastmaster Faya. Uh, three times she said 
Ah. And we have Toastmaster Latif. No any uh, um, no sound. Toastmaster Gulam Kadir. No any sounds. Toastmaster Wajahat. One time he said us. And then table topic. I noticed uh, Toastmaster Navid. Once he said ah. And uh, Mr. Asad said five times ah and two times um. And every later time, Toastmaster Javed Bhatti said three times us. Toastmaster uh, DTM Dalha said two times ah and four times um. Uh, Toastmaster Gulam Gadir, no any sound. Uh, I noticed about the PM Rusa Gawal three times um. And Toastmaster Shamam, no, she said no any uh, this this kind of sounds. Now this is my role and reports or over to Toastmaster my Thank okay. you, Toastmaster Azhar, for this report. And our next uh, role holder is Toastmaster Azaz Mehman. As a listener, he will be presenting his report. Thank you. TM Javed. So let me start off. Uh, so do you want me to, uh, can I shuffle uh, the rules or uh, like, do I need to uh, go into a sequence of table topic speakers or? No, uh, or... no you can mix it up. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. So it's the first uh, phrase that I would like to tell you, two truths and one lie. Can you guess? Yes. Faya. 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 You're right. Okay. So maybe the people don't want to change. Kareem. Toastmaster Kareem. Perfect. Okay. Center of attraction. Latif. Toastmaster Latif. One and only. Yeah. <laughs> My life is full of complexities. Toastmaster Azza? Oh. Toastmaster Wajahat. <laughs> 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 really? Yeah. Please, if you have spoken it, please don't raise your hand. <laughs> okay. Great visionaries. Toastmaster Navid? Yes. <laughs> Najam? No. Karim. No. Was it me? <laughs> Should I tell the name now? Yeah. You will. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's guest Amit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Keep your room tidy. Uh, Toastmaster Eba. Eba. Perfect, yes. What do I do? What I did? <laughs> how would how would we know what you did? <laughs> no, you cannot. But someone else did. So you have to guess the name. Then why should we? <laughs> then why should we know? <laughs> So, no. no. Okay, it's Moise Mansour Ali. Yes, exactly. Nice. Public anger. Najam. No. No, no, it's Saad. Asad, 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 Asad. Perfect, yes. Yes, Asad. Skills are more important. Javed Bhatti. Javed. Perfect. Okay. Corporate punishment just outlawed. <laughs> Moise Mansoor Ali. DTM Tala. DTM Tala. DTM Tala. Yeah. Okay. Classic stalkers. Toastmaster Latif. DTM Tala. Yeah. Toastmaster Latif. 
okay that's it thank you thank you <laughs> thank you toastmaster rizas for this wonderful report in the thank end you. i would like to ask a timer to let us know about the timing report good evening everyone thank you general evaluator javed bhati i am really a big fan of you almost uh, all karachi toast master club members are um i really want to know why president urusa is in hurry to finish other than that everyone is in time everyone has uh, utilized their time extremely perfectly and uh, uh, really uh, president urusa we learn a lot of new words from you so if you are allowed to get a chance please uh, and we entertain us you are our one of our dictionary even uh, gulam kader when he was saying that uh, when dtm talha was saying and you did not interrupt actually i go into that mesmerization like what he is saying and how well he says and you know you 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 people are for this kind of people when when you come to the podium or when you come to the screen you really make us uh, know what kind of uh, dictionaries we can use um, we are not a book people but really listen to uh, human books actually so do entertain us everyone and love the meetings enjoy and i think uh, i don't want to be overtimed so thank you once again and everybody had a nice time so same as me i enjoyed my role over to you general evaluator oh uh, okay thank you for the report okay with this we conclude our role holder report uh, i session. have a question here uh, can i ask uh, mr president uh, no can i have allow the can yeah. we allow the guest to ask the questions right now or should we wait till the end time is over oh okay <laughs> we'll uh, give you a chance at the end if you okay, want we'll give you a chance at the end uh, just wait a few minutes okay yeah all right okay so we move down to the final session that is general evaluators report and i am going to present my report so here it is meeting was supposed to start as per the agenda at 6:45 pm but actually it is started few minutes late at uh, 6:53 pm and normally our meetings are kicked off by sergeant at arms who is ever present but today because of some his personal uh, duties he was not here so the pre uh, so the meeting was uh, kicked off by our president herself with the guest introduction meeting attracted few guests from india as well and i was uh, that is that, that was very encouraging to see coming few gu new guests from india regarding the meeting attendance in the middle of the meeting i noticed that we had 17 participants max if i missed out something i don't know but i noticed a couple of times it was 17 or 16 something like that and although that's a very healthy number but considering our club members active participation history i think we could improve on that aspect theme of today's meeting was thoughtfully named as marching towards the new century but it would have been good if the toastmaster of the day had introduced and explained the meeting theme as what's the phenomena behind marching towards the new century we had one uh, unexpected hold up due to some technical issues with one of our evaluators and during that waiting window it was a it was good to see some brotherly love and leg pulling between mansoor ali brothers today and also the interview by the toastmaster of the day uh, was interesting and he never fails to miss the chance of using his persuasive skills and magic to suck in one more member although it is my duty but he does that too one suggestion for the table topics although the table topic section was very well crafted but it was not in sync or it did not align with the meeting theme so one a small suggestion is that although there is no hard and fast rule for the table topics to be aligned or synced with the meeting theme but it uh, it gels in well and it enforces the theme even more if the table topics are aligned in or are in parallel or the topics are in uh, in sync with the meeting theme another good practice is to announce the word of the day when inviting a table topic speaker so that more and more speakers get the chance 
to use the use the word of the day in their speeches all the role players today were properly introduced they were able to explain their roles smoothly and they also performed their duties incre incredibly well and on time all in all a very smoothly conducted and a very productive meeting and with this meeting karachi toastmasters club kicks off a new milestone and that milestone when we achieve it it will be something gigantic in the history of toastmasters journey in pakistan when ktc will be celebrating and achieving the magic number of 1000 meetings i pray by that time we become a full fledged district and i wish that i am around to be a part of that celebration i pray for this amazing club to prosper and shine bright all across the toastmasters world that's about it from my side over to you toastmaster of the day thank you very much toastmaster javed bhatti for such an amazing overall evaluation for conducting such an amazing general evaluation segment with that our meeting has come to an end but we have taken the first step and we need 99 more meetings to get that magical number and all all the praise has been done by toast master javed patti otherwise i would have done that so all i would like to add here is that with hope that wednesday will come and that wednesday will come soon inshallah so i request uh, the vote counter once again to please uh, launch the poll zoom poll and there will be four category for big four that is toast master of the day myself javed patti general evaluator toast master navid aslam with an amazing table topic session and toast master shamam table topic evaluation so please cast your vote and with that i would like to hand over the charge back to our president toast master uru sir the stage is yours thank you so much toast master of the evening and uh, i think it was a very very lovely meeting today the 901st meeting first step towards another century so uh, we have the votes for the critics choice today and the critics choice facilitator for today is none other than our returning member the listener for today toast master azaz thank you so uh, thank you so much toast master azaz and uh, for the critics choice best speaker the who do you think won today toast master latif oh wow yes spot on yes toast master latif he is the critics choice best speaker for today toast master rusa hmm uh, before announcing the other categories there was one member who wanted to ask some question yes toast i'm going to that yes uh, our guest mr asad he wanted to speak something so asad uh yeah okay thank you uh, so uh, i am new to uh, toastmaster so uh, maybe it is uh, a very basic question uh, but uh, my question uh, was that uh, why is there an uh, our counter in our uh, meeting because uh, uh, when i'm speaking to somebody and uh, i'm thinking of uh, something that uh, isn't it better to maybe use some filler words than maybe appear dead silent uh, or uh, aren't filler filler words sometimes good uh, otherwise how how how, how do you Uh, we also use these filler words in our urdu communication as well but uh, but, but if uh, i don't think it is natural conversation when you are appearing dead silent if you are thinking about something uh, i would love to hear your comments would like to answer etm talha would you like to answer that okay i'll try to answer that uh, first of all uh, guest has a very very good question uh, you know there's always this tussle between being natural and being eloquent and in toastmasters we progress from being natural to being naturally eloquent that is our ultimate goal and over that journey we slowly eliminate filler words from our conversation so just like you said 
it is better to have pauses and silences rather than filler words because just just listen to two comparative speeches where one is full of filler words and one is without any filler words and you will realize that uh, the one without filler words is more more effective secondly why why do filler words arise filler words arise because the speaker is not well prepared if a speaker is reasonably well prepared then there is very little possibility of filler words you will usually see more filler words in table topics or and evaluations maybe rather than prepared speeches so our target is to minimize filler words we are not saying that we can eliminate them because that's not uh, possible at all and on a good day on a good day a person can go without using a single filler word the very next day the same person will be speaking in filler words only so yeah these things happen but usually we discourage filler words because they take away from the substance and distract uh, the listener we want our message to get across as clearly uh, as possible in order to be effective communicators we need to sound confident and eloquent and at the same time natural so in order to achieve that balance one has to eliminate filler words and your next thank question you. should be yeah. thank you thank you for the clarification your next question should be how will i become means how will i become the club's member and i was about to ask the eloquent, uh, uh, the eloquent speaker <laughs> i was yeah. about to ask uh, guest asad for his contact details so that i can follow up with him and enlighten him with more uh, filler words knowledge <laughs> yeah sure so can you please pass uh, write your uh, contact details in the chat okay thank you over to you toastmaster thank you so much toastmaster javed and uh, since our, we don't have any other guests so a uh, toastmaster tarha can we have uh, the votes if they are done thank you madam president so our first poll was for best prepared speaker and it was won against all odds by toastmaster latif mansoor ali and toastmaster latif i have a confession to make there is no such <laughs> thing as cleopatra syndrome there is no such thing as cleopatra syndrome so please stop worrying about it <laughs> you've grown <laughs> you've grown you've grown thinner during the course of the meeting i don't know how you're growing thinner right before our eyes so please please stop worrying so much okay <laughs> okay uh best table topic speaker goes to okay the one who stuck the best to the topic assigned and spoke like a freight train and none other than guest asad congratulations congratulations thank you thank you, thank you. wow <laughs> Best evaluator goes to Toastmaster Gulam Kader. Congratulations! Congratulations! Best big four. After a very narrow, narrowly fought battle, uh, it goes finally to our journal evaluator, Toastmaster Javed Bhatti. And Toastmaster Javed Bhatti. Yeah, I I have a message of love for you. If you if you were more regular in KTC meetings, the presence of Indian guests in our meetings wouldn't have been such a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> But congratulations, thoroughly well deserved. L love well, well received. Love well received. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Tala. And with that, uh, it's a wrap for next week. Inshallah, same place, same time. Hoping to see you, uh, Mr. Asad, as well in the meeting. And uh, Miss Maryam, uh, sure. we hope to see you a little earlier. And Mr. Moise, hopefully you'll join us as well. So Hello. with Thank that, you. it's a wrap. With that, it's a wrap. Next week, same place. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye, Nikhil. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Love it.